humanitarian crises around the world have challenged the humanitarian system to meet the extraordinary protection risks and needs of children with limited available resources. Communities, civil society organizations and local governments are at the forefront of humanitarian responses. As child protection actors, how can we be better partners with communities? We should reflect on how we can support community-led work to reach common goals. Let's imagine you are working as a child protection actor in Nina's community. You know that for community-level approaches to be effective, you must first understand the existing structures, beliefs, systems and behaviours that promote child well-being or hinder it. You start by talking to various community members. Through these conversations, you learn about Nina and her football team, how they operate, how often and the activities they do. You find Nina and her friends. Using your child-friendly communication skills, you listen as they talk about their football club, the successes and challenges they have experienced. You congratulate them for their amazing work and ask if you can meet with them again soon to learn more and explore ways to support their activities. Nina is very happy and says she has a lot of great ideas. She invites you to come back anytime. As you are leaving, the owner of the lot approaches you. He tells you he was head teacher of the community school before it was used as a shelter and has many ideas for starting up school again. He also tells you that inside the community house of worship, there are some children who are staying alone. A group of men and women who call themselves friends of children are looking after them. By listening to the community, you have now identified Nina, the former head teacher and other community members who are already helping to keep children safe. You are excited to continue working alongside them to support the work they have begun. Being able to engage with communities effectively requires more than our technical expertise in child protection. It relies on attitudes and behaviors that build trust and collaborative relationships. These include respect, humility, patience, and being a good listener and learner. By learning about the community first, Child protection actors can discover ways communities protect children and potential actions that could be taken together. This puts the emphasis on building upon the existing work of community members rather than creating new groups or structures. Regardless of whether your current response is more agency or community-led, it's important to reflect on your approach, let go of predetermined priorities and consider new possibilities. While changing the ways we work alongside communities can stretch us beyond our comfort zone, it can lead to stronger child protection systems, making a difference in the lives of children everywhere.